I'm 100% sure with a different coach and <laughs> with a different manage management, the team uh, should be middle of the table. Okay, all right. Uh, so we move the another part. Is I think this is a a bit controversial like in Kelantan. You know, after you left JDT, you join Kelantan mm -hmm. the Red Warriors. Right? So after you join, suddenly you play four or five games and then you left. So all Kelantan fan want to know what's happened. I wasn't happy there. I wasn't happy at all. Okay. When I arrived there, when I when when I quit JDT, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I was thinking to quit. I was thinking to quit because after, yeah, after I played for JDT, I said to myself, maybe I'm not ready enough to go to other club. After I experienced this, you know, after I experienced football at, it, at its best, maybe I go to different club and I'm going to get frustrated for sure. But then after a long break, I say, I miss football, you know, I want to come back again. So I contact Kelantan, they contact me. We fix it and I went there. But since day one, I feel like, hey, this is not for me. Uh, we have at that time this Korean coach. And I, I don't know if I can call him even coach. The, the level of training was so poor. So poor. Not because of the players. Eh? We have good players. But the quality of training, the exercise, the, the, his uh, methodology, however you want to call it, was not training at all. Seems like he was training... Uh, academy from 10 years old, 12 years old was not good enough. And that really frustrated me. As a professional footballer, you want to go every day to work, you know, to improve yourself, to get better and better and better. But I feel, I, I felt like I was going backwards, you know, like every day I was becoming worse player, worse player, worse player. And it reached one point that I said to myself, hey, enough for me. Because and the club fired him, right? The club sacked him. And the new one who came, maybe it's even worse. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's why. So uh, it's not about the player. Is the main reason is the coach? No, 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 no. No, the team is is not that bad as all the bad results we got. I'm hundred percent sure with a different coach, and <laughs> with a different manage management, the team uh, should be middle of the table. Hundred percent. Okay. If you read the social media, right? Uh, I think the last two weeks, uh, a, a lot of issue with the coach and his agent and the owner of Kelantan. So, what you can com what you can comment about this? Which, which one is uh, is it true? Of uh, both have a wrong side, lah. Both have wrong side. Both. The uh, coach he was so bad. He didn't deserve to train us not even one day. But uh, the owner was also not. <laughs> Not good enough, believe me. And I just gonna keep it there. Not good enough. Yeah, it's okay. okay. All right. So, uh, before that, uh, before, uh, why you left JDT? Is it not part of the new plan, coach in JDT? And then you get offer from Kelantan, or you get other offer also? I signed only one year for JDT. Oh. And okay. At the be at the beginning, they were so happy with me and thinking to maybe extend my contract, but with all the rules uh, changing and everything, and especially the second part of the league, I didn't play that much. And JDT is a very demanding club. If you don't perform, then yep. you don't get a, a new contract. It was like this. Okay. Simple as that. Uh, how about the fan of Kelantan? Is really supportive? Like Tanganu and Jehu? The best, the best thing of Kelantan so far, the best thing of Kelantan club is the fans. Without the fans, the club is nothing, nothing, because the owner is nothing also. And 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 the coach, I can put a guy from 7 and 11, and for sure is is better than him. Okay, all right. I just pick so, I just pick a random guy from 7 and 11, put him as a coach, and he's better than than the than, than this new coach together with the Korean coach. So now you can imagine the level there. Oh, okay, well, okay. That's 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 it for clan time. For my last part is. What's your plan uh, right now? Retired or maybe you rest a while for football or you come back for next transfer window? Maybe in Malaysia? No, no, I, I cannot retire. After this year in, in, in Kelantan, that I was so frustrated, now I really want to play again, you know, but in a proper club with proper coach and with proper trainings, you know. That's why I'm training now more than ever 
to become fit because I was I wasn't fit at all. My my performance was also so poor because I told you the way we train, uh, the results are there. The way we train, this is the the what you get. Four nil, five nil. This is what you get. You train how you play. Mm, okay, I think uh, if Clint have a one player play for La Liga, right? Uh, si Fuentes. Si Fuentes, you, top player. You talk with him. The, because he's Sorry? still like, are you talk with him until now because he's still playing in Kelantan. Yeah, 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 we have a group. We have a group where, oh. where we all talk. They all happy? Yeah. No, I just talk about myself. I don't I don't talk about others. Oh, okay, okay, alright. So, uh maybe uh, for the next transfer window, for second transfer window in Malaysia, any club contact you for second transfer window in Malaysia? No, not now, and 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 I wanna I wanna experience. Uh, uh it could be the, my last dance, you know. So I wanna try in a different country. Oh, okay. I was so you... I was lucky enough to play for three clubs in 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 Malaysia. So I wanna I wanna experience something new. Okay, I think uh almost four years, right? You in Malaysia, four years, three years. Three three years, serious. Yes. Sir. So how about Malaysia? You can describe about the culture, environment, and people in Malaysia. People are so kind. The people are so kind, uh, very friendly, and and they really love football. You can see uh, they they breathe football. When I remember when I was playing for JDT, like two hours uh, before the game, the stadium was already full. You know, yeah. waiting for us. They really want to see football, and then that's uh, that's so nice. Okay, so my last question is, uh, what the tough opponent that you face in Malaysia League, import player and local player? What the tough opponent that you face in as a defender? Fuck, Casa Grande always give me hard times. Casa Grande, okay. I mean, I mean, he he has a hammer in his head, you know. <laughs> and, <laughs> he and can get it. Oh, anyway. He was he was tough. I always have uh, problems with him. <laughs> the, but the, all the, in all, I, I was okay. I was doing okay. Luck. I mean, even even when when I play, I play three times against the best club for me, Southeast Asia by far, is JDT. I play against JDT three times. I haven't lost one. Two wins Ooh. and one draw. That's uh, difficult, with, eh? With Terengganu, right? With Terengganu and with Ceres in the Philippines. Ooh. Philippines, yeah, yeah, okay. So, okay, chat. Carly, about my life is what's your words to all your fans that always support you, DM you, positive thing, what you want to say to all your fans in Malaysia? I just want to say thank you very much to all who support me. Thank you, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Those who who don't support me because there's always will be hate. So sorry, you know, I just try to be myself. I just look for the best for me, for the best for my clubs. And, you know, love for everyone.